Hey there friends, it's Carla May here. Thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm really excited to share with you my August pages of my Happy Planner, which I have been using as a daily memory keeper since last December of 2015. So if you wanna check out those videos, I have a video for each month and I will put a link to the playlist below so you can check those out right in order and catch up with the year with me. This is my August dashboard and I had really a lot of fun this month putting it together because I really loved this blue and gold uh, color scheme that they had going on. And so I was excited to use this washi tape. This is a Mambi brand washi tape and I just love the blue floral with the little pink flowers here. And then also this gold washi tape that I found. I think I found this at Michael's. It was like gold and silver together, but it was kind of a, uh, I like the texture look on it. I've got um, celebrating because we were celebrating my sweetie's birthday this month and then remembering because Elvis, if you're an Elvis fan, you know that Elvis passed away in August and so I had a few little pictures of him and this one I just took, I had a little sticker that said little moments and I just took this picture one evening when I can't remember if we had had a rainstorm or it looked like it was going to rain but with these interesting pink clouds I think it looks like it's going to rain because it's pretty dark in the in the background there but the pink clouds look so just really pretty and kind of like like there should be unicorns flying around in the clouds or something because I'm not used to seeing um, clouds that are that pink so anyway I thought that was kind of cool and it made a nice um, photo so I snapped that picture this was another super fun, awesome highlight of the month. This was the Minnesota Planner Games, and this was organized by one of the Facebook groups I'm in, and we also get together in real life. So it's, so if there's any Minnesota Planner Girls out there, um, check us out online. The Facebook group is called hashtag MN Planner Addicts, and I'll try to put a, remember to put a link in the description box also. But it's an awesome group of girls and we just get together usually about once a month and either have dinner, um, you know, just socialize, work on our planners. And then twice a year, they try to organize kind of a larger event. So this event, the Planner Games, this was uh, coordinated kind of with the Olympics that were happening this summer. Not that any of us are particularly sporty or athletic, but it was all sort of planner related games. So you didn't have to be too too athletic to um, do well. But I think actually I, I took a picture of some of the games we had. One was called uh, Pin the Flag on the Planner, T Ticker Tape Charades, oh, we had a hydration break, a press conference, so that's where we took our um, team photos. We had Pencing, so instead of fencing, it was pencing as in trying to guess which pen made which mark. So some of you ladies out there who love um, all different kinds of pens and know them by name, you would probably do really well at that. I did not do <laughs> very well at pencing, uh, but it was fun. Um, also, let's see, paper clips bring the world together and stickering, I think the last game was called. So it was so much fun. It was just an awesome day. So I was on Team Turquoise, so that's why I have this picture. And this was our little water bottle. And instead of the Olympic rings, we had post-it notes. It was kind of like the symbol of the games. It was so much fun. They put in so much time and planning and love into this day. It was just an absolute blast. For my list this month, as you know, I always do a list in my monthly pages. So I did highlights of the planner game. Swag bag, that was really fun. Um, I was on Team Turquoise, so I met some new girls that I hadn't um, met before. I actually won a gold medal, <laughs> so that was really exciting. Who would think I'll ever win a gold medal, huh? So that was really fun. Uh, I made a bunch of new friends. We did some shopping too that day. So all in all, it was just, it was such a wonderful day. So that was my major, other major highlight of the month was the planner games. And I've got some more pictures here because we actually, our planner games were on the 6th. So I kind of took over the entire week with my <laughs> images and my spreads. Oh, and here's my gold medal. If you can see that, they actually made it out of washi tape. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So they took washi tape and put a little ribbon and then the little sticker that says MN Planner Addicts. So 
so that was my gold medal. I was very excited. Oh, and I won my gold medal for, we had different um, layout uh, challenges, I guess. And so you, let's see, I'm trying to think of all of them. One of them was decorating a gold layout. One of them was decorating a silver layout. That's the one that I won for. And I'm trying to think, there was a sports related layout and another one, I can't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, so we laid out all our planners and then we all voted, which we liked the best. So <laughs> it was really fun. So you kind of won by popular vote. But that was my um, silver themed layout and yeah, that's what I won my gold medal for. So I took some other pictures and I put those in my little pocket. And they also had some special stickers made up. Lily Henry um, designed these stickers. And so they say Minnesota Planner Games. We had opening ceremony, individual events. Let's see, there's probably some here. Team events, hashtag planner girl. So just the most adorable stickers you can imagine. And we always do a photo of our planners all together. So actually, I think I've got one. I've got pictures in here of my teammates, so I don't know if they want to be in camera, but I can totally show you a picture of our planner lineup. So we always do a planner pile, and then we take a photo, and we have our little Minnesota key ring there. So <laughs> that's kind of a, a tradition, I guess. Every time we get together, we take pictures of the, the planners that show up as well. So it was a huge group that day, as you can see. And let's see, oh, I bought a Raskog cart. I'll try to do a video actually on that because I've been using that to organize my um, planning supplies and it works really great because I can just, you know, keep everything or almost everything fits on here and then just roll it into my closet and it kind of helps to keep some of the mess away. So yeah, I'll try to do a, let me know if you want to see like how I organize it. I've been kind of checking out other people's videos and I've been finding those really fun to look at. Okay, here's the second week of the month. And this was great because I got to use some of my red, white, and blue. I used those if you checked out my July video. Of course, I used those on the 4th of July week. I also had these cute little whales that I had gotten at Target. I think those are the Target Dollar Spot stickers. And I may have even got, I don't remember if these are new or if those were a previous year. I, I thought they were so cute. And so I had got to use my sort of red, white, and blue theme again. So this week was not, not as exciting. It's hard to beat the Minnesota Planner Games. <laughs> so that was probably the most exciting um, week of the month or day of the month. But this week was kind of relaxing. I think I was working, trying to get caught up on my uh, happy planner. Bought a ticket for the Minnesota Blogger Conference, which is always in October. If there's any bloggers out there who live in Minnesota, this is a really great event. I think they're going on seven years. And they have a, it's a wonderful day of speakers and learning um, different things that can, you know, help um, improve your blog and promote your blog. And so, yeah, I think it, it keeps getting better every year, <laughs> every year that I go. In the weekend, it looks like we um, got to eat outside, which is always fun. There's several places in our neighborhood that have outdoor seating and patio seating. So it's fun to go and hang out outside and then enjoy the nice weather while we have it. And then we also went salsa dancing on Saturday night. So that's always, always fun. The next week was my honey's uh, birthday and he doesn't really enjoy celebrating, <laughs> celebrating his birthday, but I did invite him out for a steak dinner and he was happy with that. It was fun. We had a, we had a great time and he had steak. I'm really not actually a steak eater. So I had fish and it was, it was delicious. This is a really great steakhouse. I think they're a, um, a national chain in the US and they do have really excellent food. So it's it's great for kind of like, you know, special, special events like birthdays and anniversaries, that kind of thing. I also celebrated that my blog was one year old in August. I started blogging probably five or six months before I started doing YouTube. So I have two different little anniversaries I can celebrate during the year. And then we also went to watch um, War Dogs, which was a good movie. Um, it's an interesting movie. I, I love movies that are based on true stories because I always think those, like, real people's lives are always the most fascinating. So this one was quite an interesting tale. So if you ever um, find that one on 
you know, DVD or Netflix or whatever, it's it's a good, I recommend it. Or the last week of the month, we also went to a movie. We went, we went to, uh, I think it's called Hands, Hands of Stone. Um, here's the little kind of movie shot of it. It's the life and legend of Roberto Duran. So he was an actual boxer. And um, Jose heard about this one and wanted to go see it. And I'm not really much of a sporty person, but the story was actually really good. And again, it's a true story. So I did find that fascinating, even though boxing is not necessarily my thing. Although I do love the Rocky movies, I will admit. <laughs> I'm not sure. That's not necessarily a true story, though. But I do enjoy those movies. This was a really fun week to do. I love this washi tape that I got at Michael's. This change is beautiful. And I just thought sort of this red with this kind of peachy pink was kind of fun to mix together. And I was enjoying also doing some layering with my um, stickers. Just kind of, they were all just kind of random stickers that I was putting together. So not necessarily from one kit, but I kind of like to mix things up. I think that's fun. We also got to eat dinner on the balcony that week. And that was, that was fun and just kind of relaxing way to spend the um, part of the evening. I love this quote from Mambi. It says, it always seems impossible until it's done. So I love that one. And this one's also super cute. Money can't buy happiness, but it can buy washi. And that's basically the same thing. <laughs> those are really cute stickers. I love those. Okay, here's the last few days of August, the last few days of summer. And let's see, what did we do that week? We went to dinner at La Hacienda, which is a really great um, Mexican food place. I also watched some Helen Wheels. I watch that show lately while I'm working on my happy planner. <laughs> so I'd love to know what you guys watch when you're working on your planning. Um, sometimes I like to watch YouTube videos or Netflix shows or movies, but usually I'll, I'll want to watch something like either a movie that I've you know watched before or kind of a series that I don't need to completely be glued to the TV for. So it's something that's kind of a little background noise, I guess, a little company while I'm working. I'd love to know what you guys have been watching while you're working on your planners. The other thing that happened that week was the demolition of a couple of buildings across the street. They're making way for an apartment uh, building that's going to be going up. And they're going to be building or constructing the building around two historic buildings that are already on the block. So there are a couple buildings from either the 1880s or 1890s that they're keeping. And somehow they're going to incorporate those into the new, the new block of buildings. So that should be interesting to see how that turns out. But I noticed when they were doing the demo that um, once they got into it and had, you know, torn down the building or kind of moving all the sort of debris around, there was eagles coming to circle right over the area. And so I think they may have stirred up some mice or rodents or maybe something that um, eagles like to eat. It was kind of interesting. I think they were spying some supper down there and probably getting ready to move in for the move in for the grab. So <laughs> I thought that was um, kind of interesting. And so I took a picture of the eagle. It was hard to get a good shot. I could not get a shot of them all um, three together. So. That's what I was hoping for, but they move so fast. That was my week and my month, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do memory keeping, I hope you can get some ideas how you can do your daily memory keeping too, because I, I like to share ideas um, with you guys, and then I like to watch um, your videos and see what you guys are doing. Uh, let me know uh, how you're doing on your projects, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.